Hi, it's Bobby from Fifth Avenue Cake Designs, and today we're going to do some pressure piping and create a cameo for a sugar cookie. For this project, you will need a picture or an image of a cameo, some cellophane that's taped to a board tauntly, some royal icing with stiff consistency icing and pressure pipe consistency icing, both in tipless bags, or if you prefer a nozzle, you're going to use a number one nozzle. And of course, you'll need your sugar cookie. Let's go ahead and start. Start outlining your cameo with your tipless bag. I have this one cut to about a number one nozzle. Using light, even pressure, outline with a very fine line around your cameo. This will be your guide. Once you have your outline completed, go ahead and begin to fill in your cameo. To prevent any takeoff marks and achieve a nice, smooth, shiny finish, use the tip, the bottom part of your tipless bag, and vibrate it around your icing to achieve a nice, smooth layout. To prevent any lines from happening, go back from the bottom to the top of the cameo, leaving the face for the last part. Remember to leave a little space for the eye and begin to bring your facial features in. Now with a damp brush, pull a little bit out for your nose and for the mouth. Using a scriber needle helps more with the mouth for that fine finish. Now go ahead with stiff consistency icing and pipe in a little rose. For this rose, I just did a circle motion, starting in the center and coming around the outside. And then I pressure piped in a few leaves. Be careful, your icing is still wet underneath. Go ahead and start bringing in some little hair wispy lines. And I use an E-motion for a ringlet effect. Going back to your pressure consistency icing and a taunt bag, add a little eye. And I went ahead and added a decorative headband to my cameo. Remember to keep your bag as taunt as possible. And begin piping in some more of your hair. Follow the line of her head and facial features to know exactly where your hair should go, where her hair should go. You'll want to keep a damp brush handy just to make sure to take off any spikes that you don't like.
continue filling in her hair until you have a nice thick mane that you like. Now with your pressure consistency icing, pipe in a few beads, swagging down and then coming upward for a necklace. Take off any peaks on your necklace. Once you have finished, you will want to put your cameo under a desk lamp for 40 to 60 minutes. Let her dry overnight. Add your, add some soft, peak consistency icing and attach your cameo to the center of your cookie. Now begin piping in whatever type of border you like. I am doing a snail's trail with a 1.5 nozzle and bringing it around in an oval shape to mimic the shape of my cookie. I have chose an off-center heart to pipe around the inner part of the outer edge of my cookie. But again, your border is a personal choice. So creating a bead and coming down as you release pressure Continue the border all the way around. I chose to do the exact same off-center heart border on the cookie itself. Again, it's just creating a bead, swiping down, and creating a bead a little lower and swiping down as you release your pressure. Remember to turn your cookie so that it's the most comfortable for you to pipe. Pressure piping is one of my favorite royal icing ways to decorate. And once you understand the method, you can pressure pipe anything you want, from cameos to people to Grecian uh, icons on cakes, on cookies, and on cupcakes. So I hope you had fun learning some pressure piping from me. If you need a refresher course in the consistencies of pressure piping, I will give the link to a video that talks all about that. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!